Hi everyone, my name is Giuliano. In this video I'll show you how you can create easily a dynamic group in the Azure Active Directory. But before to jump in, please subscribe to my channel to stay updated with my next videos. Now, imagine the scenario where you need to build a SharePoint site for partners or vendor. And then you need to add easily, just with a couple of clicks, all guests in your tenant. Then you can take advantage by using a dynamic group. The same thing on Microsoft Teams, where you have a specific team for partners. You can just use this dynamic group to add all guests in your tenant. Let's see together how to do that. Let's go! Here I am on my PC. Before to start, I would like to clarify what is a dynamic group, if you're not familiar with that. A dynamic group, basically, it's a special group where you can define a rule. If this rule is satisfied, the user are automatically added in this group. So you don't need to take care of the user management, for example, in a SharePoint site or in a Teams, just to make some example. Then, second clarification to, to make is that you need a P1 license if you want to create dynamic group in Azure Active Directory. In fact, this capability is only provided if you have this license. So then, let's go to the, to the price. I would say that it's not too much, so at least you need an admin with this kind of license and you have to pay for it 5 euro per user per month more or less this is the the price but this license bring a lot of functionality conditional access and a lot of other capabilities that i think you you need to to have Okay, so now let me switch on the Active Directory. I'll show you in practice how you can create a dynamic group. Let me go on the Azure Active Directory. Here I am on uh, my personal tenant, personal Office 365 tenant, and I am in the backstage of the Active Directory. So then I, I will click now on Groups. As you can see here, I already created um, a group, a dynamic group, but let's start to create a new one and I'll call guests. Uh, guests, it's not okay. Let's say that we call tenant guests. Then you can put some description here. So, and here you have to select dynamic user because we want to create a dynamic group so then in another important thing you have to decide who is the owner of this group and the most important thing here you have to define the rule if this rule is satisfied all users are added automatically so now we want to add all guests in my tenant so then i will pick up user type equal to guest that's it this is my rule this is the rule syntax as you can see i will save the rule and then i will create this group okay so now this um, dynamic group will take some some time before it's, it's populated but luckily i already have done this so I'll show you that I define I have this the dynamic group and I already have six user in. If I click on members, we can see that all users are guests, and these are exactly the guests that I have on my tenant. I can show you if I switch in the Active Directory. On users and if I click on user type I apply I show you that this listed in the dynamic group are all guests in my tenant so now this give me a great benefit the first one 
let's say that I have a SharePoint site, which is the first entry point for all guests in my tenant. What I can do here now, I can click on share and I can call this group all guests and automatically they are in this SharePoint site. I don't need to take care about the user management of this site because every time that we have a new guest in my tenant automatically will be added in the dynamic group and this dynamic group it's in the SharePoint online site. The same benefit you have in Microsoft Teams. So if I click here in this Teams guests, I can type here all guests and this group will pop up. I can add this, this dynamic group and all members inside of this group are in the team now. So this is this give me a great way to, to handle guests in my tenant. So let's say that I have a team where I, I need to collaborate closer with all guests or partners or vendors. It's up to you how to define the, the rule in the, in the dynamic group. Lastly, an important thing is that you, you can create SharePoint framework solution. If you are not familiar with that, it's the new it's the new way how you can extend SharePoint Online and Microsoft Teams. Let's say that you need to create a new web part across SharePoint framework on SharePoint Online and you need that this web part is available for all guests in your tenant. Now, if you decide to host the assets of the web part in the CDN of your SharePoint app catalog, you need to, to add all guests in the visitors group of this SharePoint site. If you don't do that, all guests will get an access denied when they try to load the web port because the, the, the file are hosted in the, in the CDN of the app catalog. Okay, we have seen in this tutorial how to create a dynamic group in the Azure Active Directory and how to use it in Microsoft 365. If you enjoyed the video, please give a like and subscribe to my channel to stay updated with my next videos. If you want to see me cover any other topics in the future, put a comment down below. I hope to see you next time. Bye.